Let me vent the fruits of the Spirit is the evidence. Give me the Old Testament, Genesis and Exodus, over this New Age artificial intelligence. Heaven is my residence. God's children don't fear the plagues and the pestilence. Trust in the Almighty, not any kind of president. Isaiah 58, 1, cry aloud and spare not, lift up thou voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Glory be to God. Matthew 15, 8 through 11, the people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. Any tradition of men is not a commandment of God. Full well you reject the commandment of God, that you may keep your own tradition. Mark 7, 9. Every year millions do this, family. See that God plainly commands, follow not the way of the heathen, but most don't fear God. And he allows us to make our own decisions, free to obey or disobey. But woe to those who ignore or reject the plain word of God. Matthew eleven twenty four through 30. Woe unto the unrepentant towns and cities. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. At the time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for as though it seemed good in thy sight, all things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son. But the Father neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he who whomever so the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. That's right, family. Be encouraged, you know. But just know that the Lord sees all and he knows all. And, and, and these people will be judged, you know. Don't be afraid, afraid, family, to stand upon the truth of Christ because it's going to get harder as the days progress and go on. You know, a lot of people haven't experienced persecution, but their faith will be tested, and either it will fall because they don't want to be persecuted. You know, a lot of this, though, you know, the struggles will get hard. And it will be a lot of long sufferings, but when we when we cast our cares and our anxieties upon the Lord, because his 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 yoke is easy and his burden is light, family. And then we're gonna be put through the fire and tested. But glory be to God that He gives us the scriptures. You know, in Isaiah 58, 1, Matthew 15, 8 through 11, and Matthew 11, 24 through 30. You know, he, he warns us about things. But whatever you're going to do this weekend, however you're going to celebrate, just make sure that you're putting Yeshua, Jesus Christ, first in your life. And you're giving him all the glory. And you're giving the Father all the glory for having breath in your lungs and for the creation and for everything that he's done in your life and in your family's life. You know, don't be so distracted by everything that's so commercialized and so pushed upon the people, family. It's, it, is traditions and, and commandments of men, you know. But however you're going to do it, just make sure this weekend um, that you, you glorify the Father and the Son. Give Him all the glory and all the thanksgiving. You know, don't, don't be led astray by everything that's being pushed on people nowadays, family. I love you all. Later.